Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Today, inshallah, in this uh, next video, I will be talking to you about Laylatul Qadr since we are, uh, uh, after today, we will be entering the last 10 nights of Ramadan, mashallah. So, and Laylatul Qadr happens to come in one, in the, one of the 10 nights, but we aren't sure what it is. So, some background. Laylatul Qadr, what does it mean? It means the night of decree, the night of power, and the night of destiny. And it's narrated that the Prophet Wasallam would strive in these last nights like he never did in the other uh, previous day, nights in Ramadan. He would do more and more and more. And it, it is also reported by Abu Hurairah that he said that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever stays up and prays on Laylatul Qadr, out of hope and on faith of reward, his his previous sins will be forgiven." Mashallah, that's that's good. So, inshallah, we can catch Laylatul Qadr. And there is also a chapter in the Quran that is about uh, this, uh, about this certain topic. It's called Surah Al Qadr. Surah Qadr. If, uh, I will be reading to you, inshallah, this surah and the um, the meaning of it. So, it starts, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Indeed, we have indeed revealed it on the night of power, decree, destiny, whatever you want to call it. Well, um, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Wa madaraka ma laylatul qadr. What will make you know what the night of power is? Laylatul qadr khayru mila fi shahr. Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. The Nazal al Malikatu Ruhu Fiha Bizni Rabbihim and Kuri Amr. The angels and the Ruh descend by their Lord's permission. Salamun Hi Hatam at Layal Fajr. Peace there is until dawn. What a what power, what a power this is. And you know, a th better than a thousand months. And a thousand months, I actually looked this up, a thousand months is actually equivalent to about almost 83 years. SubhanAllah, you know, one day, I mean one night, not even one day, one night we do this worship and it's equivalent to at least 83 years of worship. So SubhanAllah, inshallah, we can catch it. When is Laylatul Qadr? Well, Prophet Sallallahu never gave us a specific day or specific, yeah, specific night or day. Most scholars, you know, agree that it's on the 27th night, but we're not sure. We're not specifically sure. If it could, Allah Allah knows best of what it is. And the Laylatul Qadr, we know for sure it, occur, it occurs in the last 10 nights. But we don't know which are the odd nights because, you know, the way we look at the moon, it might be different, that we might look at it different, other people might look at it different, so we don't know whether where which is the if the odd nights we think are the odd nights or maybe the even nights we're th maybe the even nights that we're thinking of are the odd nights so we don't know so it's best if we just uh, stay up all 10 nights because we never know we might l miss it because we were thinking what we were doing is the odd days was the even was the you know even days and what we were thinking is even days were the odd days so inshallah we'll try to you know stay up on the other days on all 10 days is what i mean uh and it's uh, the water recite on laylatul qadr it's narrated uh, by tirmidhi that aisha radiallahu anha said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi if i know which is the night of decree what should i say basically with uh, if a night if the laylatul qadr comes what do i should i say now Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said that the dua you should say is Allahumma inaka afuun tuhib al afwa fa afu anni, which means O oh Allah, you are forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. Inshallah, we can recite this dua, but this is not the only dua that you have to recite on Laylatul Qadr. You can recite any dua you want on Laylatul Qadr, and Inshallah, our duas will be accepted if we catch Inshallah Laylatul Qadr. Now there's a specific thing called ittikaf. Uh, this means you are in isolation in the masjid for the last 10 days, just doing ibadah throughout the whole time. This is a sunnah that is urged to be performed that you should do for men. For men, The things you should do, some of the things you should do is uh, you should recite the Quran, you should make dua, you should make tawbah, 
and you should learn more about Islam and your religion and try to, you know, improve yourself and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, you should, some things you should avoid. You should avoid foul talking, basically talking bad or using foul language, fighting with other people in the masjid or disturbing someone else while they're doing their ibadah. Uh, things that will nullify it, you are not allowed to leave without any good reason and you having unwanted company are things that will nullify your itikaf. Inshallah, I hope you all benefited from this video. Inshallah, we will all do well in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Inshallah, let's all make the best of it. And Inshallah, we will all do good. And Inshallah, Allah accepts everything we do. And Inshallah, you know, Allah accepts this Ramadan. And remember everybody, in these last 10 nights, if you did not do so well in the, the beginning of Ramadan, take these ones seriously and try to make the most of them. Inshallah, until next week, uh, until I see you all next week, Inshallah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.